a social worker. Uh, uh, I went to school for social work, and I did that for about eight years, and, but I was painting for a lot of that time, and I really, painting was really starting to resonate with me more than the social work. And I went to my mother, who was a great advocate of uh, doing something that, following your heart, put it that way. And she said the most empowering things that uh, anybody's ever said to me. She said, go ahead and paint, nobody will let you starve. So yes, this is my studio where it all happens. We can just get this here. Okay, look. Eventually what happened was I'm sitting there in Chelsea and on one side of 10th Avenue, there was uh, the galleries and the gallery scene. And the other side of 10th Avenue was the projects. And it was like never the twain show me. And there was all this, this, this uh, commotion in the paper about art programs being cut in schools and whatnot. So I went over into the projects and found a social program and talked to them about bringing their kids over and doing some art teaching and, and uh, arts education in our gallery. When I paint, it really brings out who I am and just made me grow as a person. And being able to express thoughts, it's like expressing art on paper. And, you know, you can talk freely and just be open-minded to things, you know. It feels good. For this class, we had to create um, a self-portrait as I got into it, you just realize how hard it is to talk about your life and who you become. It was probably one of the most difficult um, pieces that I've put together. Russell and I grew up, and even Joey, even Reverend Run, grew up in a neighborhood where there were um, lower middle class to middle class families, uh, but. As we got older and moved to Hollis, there was, there was an element, a, a more urban, hard edge, inner city element to Hollis. And a lot of our friends, uh, Russell's and I, and even Reverend Run's friends, did not make it through that era. Uh, my friends died from the results of drug abuse. Russell's friends, more, a lot of them died from violence. Without art, I'd be dead. Without art, I'd be dead or in jail, for real. Art saved my life really my older brother's life for sure. Uh, my younger brother is an artist, so all of us you know, owe a great deal to the arts and to practicing art as a, as a way of salvation. But everyone needs to cultivate creativity. You can only imagine your way into something great uh, if, you've, if you've been given the, the chance to dream. I think the first and foremost thing these kids get is confidence. That the ability to create something that is entirely new. And that then leads into the feeling that these kids can do anything. If you can create something out of nothing, you can change the world, you can change your life, you can change the circumstances. And not all these kids come from terrible circumstances, but some of them do. Some of them come from really bad circumstances and the ability to imagine yourself beyond those circumstances is an, is, is an important thing for a lot of these kids. They are empowered by the art making experience. I've been in Rush for about four years now, like since I started high school. So now I'm leaving for college and I went to major in visual arts. So I feel like it has been a major stepping stone for me, you know, and like my life ahead of me, what I want to do, I'm going to do it, you know. <laughs> You know, without art, the, the, the collective can have unconscious behavior that's unimaginable today, but could happen right tomorrow. The isolation that happens when we don't look inside, but when we look inside, there's a connectivity. And art brings you in. And we want people who are individuals, cultural heroes. And art gives them a chance to be that. So what are you working on? Well, let's go to it. People don't really understand, giving is so much cooler than receiving, you know. I think I get my greatest joy out of being able to see 
the things that I put into this manifest into something that changes a kid's life. The big thing is, when you make change better and you don't focus on yourself, you always get better in the process. in like a really supportive family. I was alone in the terms of like, in the sense that I was dealing with the cystic fibrosis, like having it in me on my own. But I always had like my mom or my dad or my brother or my friends around me to be like, no, we're here for you. Cystic fibrosis is a very interesting disease to have.